here where I just put my hand, that is the front foot of a sauropod where it left its footprint behind. So it's not like a round shape or anything? No, it's, it's, just... it's more like a kidney bean. Sauropods had differently shaped front and hind feet. Um, and like a lot of quadrupeds alive today, they bore most of their weight on their front end. So it would be, you know, 30 tons of animal in sort of a shape like that um, coming down. So they're walking like almost, not really on their knuckles, but like on the tips of their Right, on toes. their tiptoes. Um, like very graceful ballerinas and <laughs> toe shoes. Very delicate. Yeah, delicately, no, no, no. this massive, massive animal. And then the hind foot leaves just a, a round depression like a punch. Um, and these are actually flipped upside down. You can see up behind us, further up this hill. So this is actually the rock layer um, that those sauropod tracks came out of. You can see up here, sediment likes to deposit in flat layers. because uh, that's it's all nice and even. Yeah, it's all nice and even. And then you get down here and it's like, what's happening? And what's happening is that a giant sauropod has put its foot down through the mud. So it's these big bowls, these potholes. Basically, yeah, dinosaur potholes is what we're seeing here, where some sauropod was walking along what used to be a riverbank here and uh, punching her foot right through. Okay, so these are uh, both the front and back feet of the sauropod, right? Right. What you see here, uh, if we were looking at it like we were down there, it would look sort of like a kidney bean or a jelly bean shape. That's the front foot of the sauropod called the manis. Mm -hmm. And then the big, it just looks like a bowl, like an impression, is the hind foot, and that's called the pez. So the fact that we can see both the, the front and the hind feet, what does that tell us about the way that the sauropods are actually moving? So if you were to watch a cat, for example, walk in the snow, he'd put one foot down and then his hind foot would go right on top of it, and you would only see two sets of tracks. Yeah, really exaggerated. Right. Kind of stepping and you know, Yeah. We know that sauropods didn't walk like cats because we see both a front and hind foot. Instead, they walked more like horses, um, where they would put down a front foot and then the hind foot would slip in just behind. So that's what you're seeing here is a front foot impression and then the hind foot coming in right behind it. So we know that these were more of a lumbering animal instead of like a live predatory something. Well, I'm sure the cat walk would have been hilarious, but I guess- Yeah, <laughs> I'd love to see a sauropod like coming through the mud. <laughs> So the dinosaur that left these tracks looks something like this. This is a model of a brachiosaurus, not life-size, but scaled down quite a bit. And on it, you can see the kind of feet that left these trackways. So in the front, the feet have this kind of semicircular jelly bean shape, and in the back, these wider, sort of almost elephant-like feet with these big claws on them. And they're really kind of dainty for an animal this size. I mean, this was 30 tons or so of giant sauropod dinosaur being held up on these little pillars. So it's really no wonder why that when these things started to tromp across the floodplains, they punched through and left these dinosaur potholes.